The colonization of America practically devastated the native tribes. Was it a goal to eliminate the Native American magic? What is the reason behind the historical events on the American continent from a magic viewpoint? Is it dangerous for people born in a different cultural tradition to take part in their native rituals? Let's start with the end, yes, it is dangerous. But again, if you establish contact with ancient forces, then everything will be okay. The colonization of America represented the clearing of a territory. Territory is occupied not by people, it is occupied by gods, and people are the conduits of their force. When the original colonizers entered America's soil, they used outrageous methods to purge the territory. At that time, it was the people who were killed instead of the gods. And then the gods were killed by the generation that followed. It consisted of local priests and, of course, extremely obscene Protestant communities, which actually were created for this very reason, in order to carry out horrible deeds while hiding them behind the feeling of their own righteousness. Quakers, who appeared on the territory of North America, did exactly that. Then these sects, of course, spread themselves all over in large quantities. Their main goal was not so much to eliminate the natives and take away their land, but rather to abolish the right of their gods to that territory. And they succeeded. Just like Christianity once did arriving to our lands, destroying our shrine, so did Protestantism, another branch of Christianity, destroy other territories. They needed space. Sure, on the foggy Albion there wasn't too much room for them. They needed to be fruitful and to multiply, as their not so fruitful and not so multipliable God bequeathed them too. That is why they drenched the whole continent in blood, destroyed the informational channels, clearing the territory for their own use. Just remember, nothing is forever. Once upon a time, the Etruscan cult, for instance, when forming their own culture, they weren't a civilization, they didn't have enough time to form one, but they did create a strong culture, which initially aimed to last 900 years, I think. Meaning that it literally laid as a cornerstone within their cultural foundation. They literally said, the time of our culture is within such and such period, from this date to that date. We could, of course, try and prolong it, but usually things turn out the other way around. As they followed special rituals that helped them get rid of certain problems, but at the expense of the time allotted to them. In history, and in magical history in particular, it is the shortest time period ever allotted to the formation of a particular culture. What pertains to American history, they were also given a certain time frame, but only as much as they could take away from the natives. And it's not that this time is nearing its end. It is the entire scope of Christianity in general that is approaching its ending. And so, the time allotted to this mob is also approaching its finish line, together with Christianity. They will answer in full for all their cruelty, don't doubt that for a minute. And it is not really about the protests and the loud shouting of some senile Democrats about whose lives matter and what else is really being owed, as they say in Belarus, oh, like the land owes the farm. We owe to those whom we so brutally oppressed for a long time. Those are the games meant for the masses. Those are the attempts to somehow clear their own name. It won't work. That is for certain. Everything will be just. That is what the whole world is built upon. All projects will come to an end. The old gods will return. And everyone will have to deal with their oppressors on their own. The innocent won't be affected. The guilty won't escape justice. Let everything happen the right way. And colleagues, we can't really say that we are entering an era of justice, because let's take the US, for instance. It demonstrates what a distorted understanding of justice it has. It won't be this way. Everything will be different. The mother's justice is different, completely different. You will see it all. You will understand it all. 
The only thing I would like to ask you is not to have any sympathy for the victims nor commiseration. Let everyone take what is theirs and let everyone be responsible for that. Do not invest your life and your existential volume into the atonement for someone else's sins. Those games are not yours. Your games are your children and everyone you care about at this very moment and up to a certain point. And everything else is not. Be aware of such a reflex in order not to be carried away by the impulse and start feeling for the whole humankind and so on and so forth. All these are slogans in a form that will make you give away your time on a voluntary basis, so that you voluntarily denounce your achievements. Don't do that. Just observe these processes. It doesn't matter how weird they may seem to you. Just remember that this is justice. This is retribution. Просто наблюдайте за этими процессами, какими бы странными они вам ни казались, помните, это справедливость, это возмездие. Слова возмездие. The words of retribution, since we're talking about it. The words of retribution can be heard quite frequently. I think that you've heard them from various types of bloggers and publicists and people who simply discuss this topic. But curses like chickens come home to the roost. Meaning that such a blessed democratic country, the United States, how much evil it costs to the whole world. But the pendulum is swinging in both directions. Everything is right. Everything is the way it should be, and the pendulum keeps swinging in both directions. And now you start hearing voices of those who got in the way of this pendulum, saying, we have nothing to do with that. Someone else was at war. The government gave the orders. Why are we being affected? It is a good question. Why are we being affected? Let's think about why. The same exact question is asked by Christians whose churches are being shut down for the second years in a row. Why, they ask. And then the Christians are asked, fellows, when your wonderful religion of love entered our land, when you were cutting down our sacred groves, while praising some god you serve, destroying our temples, killing our priests, when you forbid us to go to the forest during Kupala festivities, when you forbid us to leave offerings to the forest spirits, when you were setting on fire those who opposed these restrictions, what do you think were the feelings of those who were forced to abandon their gods in order to please a jealous and angry God who nailed his own son to the cross and allowed human beings to perform this act every year for the last 2,000 years? What do you think were the feelings of those whose gods were stolen from them? who were cut off and connected to a totally different system. What did they feel? Well, this is what you're feeling right now. And the Christians say, what do we have to do with it? How could one explain to them that all of those poor Americans who suffer due to a split in their own society and those Christians who suffer in front of the closed doors of their churches, that they all suffer for exactly the same reason? Not only had they no remorse while using the benefits of those murderers, but also were proud of their achievements. And if you took pride in all the accomplishments of your religions, which drenched in blood half of the world, took pride in your country that did the same thing, so why are you now surprised that you are being held accountable to the same degree? Isn't it fair? Let's think. This is justice. This is how it looks. The magic says that a pendulum swings in both directions. 
And those who took advantage of the murderer's benefits must carry the same responsibility, even if they didn't perform the deed themselves, but they did take advantage of it. That's the rule, colleagues. That's the logic. Going back to your question about the US, what goes around comes around. You can see it now happening on your continent. It is being vividly manifested. Observe these processes. Just observe them. That's how the concept of justice operates. That's how the pendulum swings the other way. If you are aware of the reasons why it is all happening, you guarantee yourself that you will not fall under retribution since someone who is aware is halfway out already. Because to be aware doesn't simply mean saying, yes, yes, I agree, don't touch me, please. To be aware means to see clearly. To become aware means to unite within yourself, in your own consciousness, all the root causes and effects. Not to take the blame off of yourself, but to simply understand, yes, I used the system's benefits. I took advantage of the system's resources that were built upon the blood of others. By offending gods, by killing the innocent, by committing crimes. Yes, I was using these benefits. I see that now. And build your own life in such a way to no longer do that. To rely on yourself and not the platform you created based on everything mentioned above. From the viewpoint of the magical balance, that's the way to enter the state of equilibrium, to enter the state of justice. It's enough to refuse it all in your mind in order to be able to start implementing your right to be a free man in the outside world. But to be free means to be free in all ways possible. The free is the one who relies only on himself, who doesn't borrow from the system for the comfort and convenience without understanding what a price there will be to pay for all of that. Since those who don't ask questions would have to share the same responsibility along with the dying out system. Remember my words, people who still do not completely understand the reasons behind what is happening. Try to elaborate on it within your consciousness and make yourself honest and pure. It's clear that we can't redeem the whole world, but it is not required. If you are building your personal reality, make sure to do it without any debts, including those you acquired by using the system's benefits. The system that is currently receiving retribution from the viewpoint of the motherly right and through the justice of the Irenes, those who always know who is innocent and who is guilty.